campsite and right now it's choosing exactly where we want to put the tents and everything and Coco has found her spot so she's happy I found my spot there you go there's some places back in here there's some places over here go way back and then back over in here so we've got a Find three places, four places. One for the kitchen, one for the big screen theater, and one for the large tent, and one for the small tent. Location for the tent has been chosen. You can put it right here. The first thing to do is to put up the rain fly, or excuse me, the footprint. This is the uh, tent with the porch patio addition put on it on the front. And as you can see, there's a mesh window. There is a mesh window with the cover behind it. And then there are two clear plastic windows. So there's really three options that you have in the tent. Um, during the day, it's nice to use the mesh windows and um, if it's raining or you just want to see out or at night you can have these clear plastic windows that you can see i'll go around the side gives you a sense of the magnitude of this air beam tent by van gogh and it has just a single pole in the front and then in the back <clears throat> we go to those four air beams that i was talking about earlier video it's got the clear windows. Right now the shade is halfway up. And around to the back. And then uh, if it's real cold, you can have that top panel down. Uh, if you want air to flow through, have it panel up. The other thing that's important for airflow is this venting system down along the sides. But you have options with Velcro panels. You can have that down or you can have it up during the day. Again, let air in. It's nice, but at night, you can tuck those in depending on how cold it's gonna get. The last couple of nights, it's been uh, down in the 20s, which is extremely cold. And yet, um, we slept quite comfortably. There's a door on the side here, and again, the window, the clear windows, um, the panel is half up. You can put it all the way down, or you can put it all the way up gives you privacy but you can also see out at night or during the day makes it wonderful now I've pulled back the patio door halfway and got it uh, curled up and then toggled back this door will actually go back all the way and toggle against the side so you've got uh, protection against the elements if you wanted to use this as a patio porch protection, uh, we use it to uh, keep gear in here, keep firewood, keep it dry. Uh, if it's raining or it's cold, you can just see here on the, the porch patio, we've got a couple of chairs, got a table, again, some more gear. Um, another important aspect of glamping is everything that can be foldable, as you see the table or the chairs, everything that can be foldable or like the tent inflatable can collapse down into a very small footprint, very small space. And now, um, uh, oh, I just want to say that the patio is optional on this particular tent by Van Gogh. Van Gogh is one of the largest manufacturers of tents in uh, Great Britain. The porch can actually be taken off, so you just have an extension that comes out about four feet, then angles down more toward the tent. With the patio, it angles toward the front, gives you another, um, oh, maybe 32 square feet of space, four by, actually be four by 12, uh, 48 feet of space, but it just comes up at an angle. Let's go 
inside and take a look around and see how this is set up. Now, if you'll notice, as we're walking in, there's a window on the right and there's a window on the left. One thing that's common in European tents is they use those plastic or what they call diamond clear plastic windows to let you see out. And again, um, there's uh, covers that you can uh, bring down to uh, block out any light or any uh, ability to see in or out, uh, or you can toggle those back. The door is a two-way door. Again, it has a full protection of material, or it can be a mesh door as it is right now. There is a nice venting space at the top to uh, let air flow through, keep good air flow. We have a foldable chair and we have these wood pillows that uh, are great. They, uh, they look like we've been sawing logs outside and uh, as you can see again, a cl nice clear window to see outside. And then uh, we have a foldable table here that allows us to put drinks. We could eat in here if it's raining, or we're playing checkers or chess, or or um, different games. This particular table has pockets on the side to put things, maybe your cell phone, or maybe uh, paper and pencils if you're playing card games. And then inside, that's really cool, is a, a part underneath where you can put your drinks, or you can put other parts or pieces to the games that you're playing. Very stable because it has these tension bands that you can adjust uh, how tight you want it. These are the air beams that uh, you build up, uh, blow up with a bicycle pump. And then now again, another uh, chair over here. This actually happens to be a door. And uh, now some people will say, why isn't this mesh? Or why isn't there a mesh door? And the reason being is if you're using mesh or mesh windows, then you're gonna to have to use a rain fly. And this is a non rain fly tent um, because of the, of the materials, the quality of the materials and the design that you have. Um, as we move to the back, these are the sleeping quarters and this is a six person tent. So there's an area for three people on each side. The way we have this set up right now is we have an inflatable couch back here that folds out and it can sleep two to three. This is actually where mom and dad sleep. And then there's a divider that we can put up right here between the two rooms if we like. It's a dark materials, it is mesh. As almost all the material is in this room, it's a black mesh to make things as dark as possible, but also breathable to let air flow through. Again, uh, for our sun, is an inflatable chair that we can pull out and use as furniture, just like the couch over here. We can pull that out and use as furniture to seat more people in the common area. But that folds out into a bed itself. And then he sleeps there. And then uh, because there's only one person using this room, we have room over here for our um, more gear, our clothes, other things in here. Now, what's interesting about this sleeping unit is it's actually something that can be taken out as you can see by the toggles above. Or, another nice thing is this can be split in half and folded down, and so that can be all area on the left over there or on the right where you just have gear or you can add on to this more common room. In this particular room, this common room, this particular tent, this common room is nine foot by 12 foot, and I'm six foot two, and I can basically get right next to the edges because again, the structure and strength of the air beam concepts. As you can see, uh, these are zippered. So in case an air beam ever does have a problem, it's like a bicycle inner tube, you could just repair or patch it. Or if need be, you could replace the whole air beam itself. I bought a couple of extra air beams just to be prepared. Never know what might happen. Um, then also another nice thing now, and the more expensive Van Goghs and other tents like this Airbeam, you get a section right here where you have pockets for less than $10. I found this shoe holder that I attach up here to the top. And now all of a sudden we can put different things in here, pajamas, flashlights, bandanas, uh, headlights, aspirin, bug spray, all kinds of things we can keep right here. Kind of those things that you need to grab, but you don't want to dig through your luggage to find them. That makes a really nice 
way to organize things. Moving to the left here, over here we have a, a really nice expandable cupboard. It can be uh, half the size, or this is full size right now, but you can adjust it if we wanted it down lower. This way we can store things in here. We can have we get the air pump, get some uh, paper towels. You could uh, keep anything. There's actually um, two shelves in here, and there's a shelf on top. We have water in here. Um, we have some wine. And then moving across, we have another inflatable couch. This is a larger couch, and it can actually sleep three people. And I have some of these foam logs in here just to make it comfortable and cozy and make it very uh, woodsy. Um, another one of the uh, slices of wood and foam. You can see now, here's the window looking out, and you can, you can see out into the woods as much as you want. Um, and I come down here below, we've got kind of a sheepskin cover to warm things up, and I've got these um, wood pieces. Again, these are actually inflatable. Um, they take up almost no space once you take the air out, but uh, you know, kids can sit on them and put, uh, use them as foot rest or whatever you want to use them for. Panning to the left uh, inside the common area, now you have the windows, the clear windows. You have right now, the, the door is mesh and you can see out and, and see everything that's going on all the way up to our kitchen unit. And then we have the clear windows over here. What's really nice is the floor is sealed all the way up to the edge of the tent so that water can't get in. It's all one piece. It's called a one piece floor. It's called a bathtub design. It's something very important to look for in a tent if you buy. Now one other thing we've done that really makes glamping nice and makes it comfortable is we have a two-ply camping carpet in here that uh, this is actually a Van Gogh carpet but boy it keeps it soft. Um, it's waterproof and, and um, this really makes it very homey. We highly recommend a rug when you first step in the tent and, and a big rule is always keep your shoes outside for mud and dirt and that way you keep your inside of your tent really clean. Keep the floor clean at all times because cleaning out a tent is no fun. If you're winter camping like we are right now or it's late, it's November, it was uh, 22 degrees the other night, we do have a tent fan. We can bring in electricity through that door over there. There's also an area over here in the tent that has electricity pocket. You can bring it through here. And then this particular tent, you can then, using these Velcro straps, you can run electricity up to these different eyelets um, where you can have um, electric lights, or in our case, we use lithium ion battery powered lanterns. Don't recommend using any kind of propane or anything inside a tent at any time. But that's a walkthrough of the common area and where we can uh, fit people. Right now with the chairs and tables and everything we've got, we can seat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can bring in more chairs from the outside. We could probably fit anywhere from 10 to 12 in here fairly comfortably. We could eat, talk, enjoy. And I had planned that if it were raining for a few days, we'd spend a lot of time here in the common area and let it rain and just uh, enjoy the sounds of nature. So that gives you some ideas of uh, air beam tent camping. By the way, I put this tent up in about 10, 15 minutes by myself, and I think it's about the same amount of time to take it down. We'll know that tomorrow when we leave.